touch from you. Make it right.
to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding. TC, remember this. I am thine, O oh Lord. I have heard thine voice and it told thine love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to Said Lord, y'all need to learn these songs. <laughs> to thy cross, where thou hast died, oh, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed. Come on. To thy precious bleeding. To thy precious bleeding side. Oh, to thy precious bleeding. I feel like singing another one. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. This my concert, so y'all just. <laughs> just to know the Savior. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. I need the oil. I need thee. Come on, sing it. Every hour. I need. Why we don't sing this no more?
Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Glory be to your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good, morning. Morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let yes. us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We have so much to rejoice about. Amen. You may not think so, but you have so much to rejoice mm. about. He woke you up this morning. Come on, he protected you while you slept and slumbered. Yeah. He watched over your family. Mm -hmm. You can open up your refrigerator and choose what you want to eat. Choose wow. what you want to wear. Talk to who you want to talk to. Oh, mm -hmm. he's great, great. Great. His grace and mercy has endured all week. Yes. We're here. Mm -hmm. well, we have so much to be grateful for. Yes. So much to rejoice about. Amen, sister. Amen. And you know what? We have the opportunity to celebrate mm -hmm. the people that died for us, fighting for us. This is Memorial Day weekend. Well, and we rejoice in the fact that people died for us. Come on. Died for us so that we can be free, so that we can worship like this. Amen. That we have the opportunity to worship. So we're so grateful to celebrate the persons and people and men and the women who died for us. So we celebrate their lives on this Memorial Day. We celebrate their lives on this Memorial Day. Amen. Our kind and most gracious Father, we come to you this morning with thanksgiving. We thank you for the grace and mercy that you have shown to us. Oh, Father God, we thank you. Yes. And Father God, we say, come by here, my Lord. Yes. Come by here. Oh, Lord come by here come into our service this morning mm -hmm. touch us lord yes. show us yes. come as close as we can bear yes father god we just want to say thank you for allowing us to see another week thank you thank Jesus. you father for the opportunity to gather yes. and worship and praise you yes. oh father god thank you and Father God, we ask that you touch, heal, and deliver yes. all of the people who are sick, mm -hmm. who, are in, who may not be able to go to church this morning, Father God, but you can come and touch them. Just yes. be with them. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you are God. Oh, Father God, just be with us in this service today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And now we're going to have our morning hymn. Mm Fill me with life anew. 
Yes, Lord, breathe on me. You breathe, you breathed on me this morning that I might open my eyes to see. Yeah. Another day. Amen. Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you. And now we will have our scripture by Sister Yvonne. Following that, we'll have prayer by Sister Maureen. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning on this Pentecost Sunday. Good morning. The Holy Spirit of God come to breathe on us. Yes. Good good morning. morning. Good morning. Amen. 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 We're going to read this morning from Acts chapter 2. I will be reading from verses 1 through 21. Acts chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all on one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and they were confounded because that every man heard them speak in their own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in his own tongue, wherein we were born? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea, and Cappadocia, in Pontius and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Greeks and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our, in our tongue that wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. But Peter standing up with the 11, lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Judea and of all that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words, for these are not drunken as you suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath 
blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The yeah. sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord yeah. shall be saved. Yes. Is the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be unto God. Amen. Amen. Call on his name. Amen. Amen. Call Amen. him up. Tell him what you ah. want. <laughs> yes, sir. Jesus on the main line. <laughs> Amen. Let's say it. That's Amen. it. Amen. Jesus Amen. on the main line. Thank you, God. Most gracious and eternal God. Yes, we come calling on your name this morning. Yes. Father God, because this is indeed the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we come thanking you on this day yes. of Pentecost. I pray, oh God, that you will breathe on us. Yes. New life, oh God. Yes. New realizations, oh God. Yes. Send your spirit, oh God, and be in this service on today. God, we thank you for keeping us thus far. Yeah. From one week to the next, from one month to the next. God, we are still here. So we just give you praise, oh God. We give you honor because you are worthy. God, we thank you. Yes. Yeah for being our hope in this hopeless world, oh God. Yeah. There is so much going on around us, oh God, at every turn, oh God. Mm. But through it all, oh God, we know that you are <coughs> So God, for that, we just thank you. Thank we thank you. you, oh God, that you walk with us, that you talk with us, oh God. Mm -hmm. And in those moments when we feel all alone, oh God, mm -hmm. you are still with us. Yes. So God, for that, I just thank you. Mm -hmm. today, oh God, I pray that you will visit every home that's represented here, oh God, whether it be in a little box here on Zoom, on Facebook, on YouTube later on. God, mm -hmm. touch each and every heart, oh God. Mm -hmm. Father God, I ask you to bring joy where there has been sadness. Praise it. This weekend, oh God, we're celebrating Memorial Day, oh God thinking of those who gave their lives to this country. But God, it brings to memory for me, mm -hmm. those that have gone on before us, oh God. Mm -hmm. It brings to my mm -hmm. memory, oh God, the memories of my mother, yeah. the memories yes. of my father, my grandmother. Yes. Yes. Father God, it just brings back those memories. Yes. And yes. God, we can't forget what you have done for us. You died. So that we could live. Mm -hmm. You died yes. so that we could have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. So God, we pause this morning, oh God, not just to remember, mm -hmm. remember, oh God, those that gave their lives to this country in these yet to be United States. Yes. But, oh God, for you who gave your life for each and every oh, one of us, oh God. God. Come on, we yeah. pause and we say thank you, oh God. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, God. We thank you, God. Yes. And God, I ask you right now, someone may be feeling sad this morning. Yes. I ask you, oh God, to bring joy where there's been sadness. I ask you, oh God, to bring peace where there's stress and anxiety, oh God. Mm -hmm. Father, touch your people this morning. Touch. Touch the man of God, oh God, that's about to bring the word. Mm -hmm. Continue to use him, oh God, for your glory. Your glory, oh God. Yes. Give him the strength he needs, oh God, to continue this journey. God, yes. we thank you. We thank you, oh God. Yes. And again, as on the day of Pentecost, oh God, breathe on each and every one of us today, oh God. New life, new purpose, oh God. And it's the name of your son, Jesus, that I offer up this prayer and give you thanks. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Yes. Breathe Amen. on us. Amen. New life, new thoughts. Yes. Yes. Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to call on my brother Keith for the welcome, if you're available. 
Absolutely. Amen. Good morning, Brother Amen. Keith. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Sister Leslie. Amen. Good morning, Amen. all. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Praise good morning. God. Thank you for uh, joining us on this service. And if you are here uh, one time, uh, you are welcome. Uh, if this is your second time, you are welcome. Uh, you are welcome thrice times. God bless you. Uh, please, please come in fellowship with us again. Um, please bring a friend. Praise God. Uh, and please know that if you ever need anything, you can reach out to a member of the Remnant family. Uh, we'll be right there. God bless you on this morning. Uh, we look forward to worshiping with you in spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 Amen, brother. Amen. 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 Spirit and in truth. That's right. Mm hmm. Mm. We're going to call on Sister Brenda to give us a selection. Good morning, everyone. Happy Good morning. Good Sunday. I would just like to give a shout out to my Jesus, to my Lord, who's the head of my life. Yeah. I would like to give a shout out to Judy Cyrus, who had a birthday yesterday. And also to my son, Solomon Cain, whose birthday is today. I Amen. also believe tomorrow will be Amen. Diane's son's birthday. So I give out shouts to all, all right. that have birthdays in the month. Amen. 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 Thank you, Thank you sister. Sister. Good morning. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing, showers of blessings we need. Mercies drop round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again. Over the hills and the valleys, sun of a downpits of rain. Showers of blessing, showers of blessings we need. Mercies drop round us, stuff falling. But for the showers we plead, there shall be showers of blessing. Send them upon us, O Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing. Come and above with the word. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercies drop round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessings, oh that today they might fall. Now as to God we confessing, now as on Jesus we call. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercies drop round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessings if we but trust and obey. There shall be seasons refreshing if we let God have his way. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercies drop round us are falling. But for the showers, we plead. Amen. 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 Showers of blessings. Mm -hmm. Showers of blessings. Yes, 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 yes. We realize how blessed we are. <laughs> Well, oh, 
This is the wonderful time that we all can participate in this service. Everybody can participate. There are ways to be a blessing to the Remnant Family Worship Center. And I'm going to do like Sister Maureen says, and like Sister Diane says, <laughs> you want to know how to give, take a screenshot yeah. so you can remember there are many ways to give. Yes. We can give through uh, Giblify and uh, at the Remnant Family Worship Center. You can give. So if you would like to give, we want you to give. Uh, God wants you to give. He gives so much to us. Mine. And he only asks for a little bit back. Yeah. But he gives Say so something, much sister. Us, we That's couldn't right. pay him for all the showers right. of blessings. Well, that right now. Mm -hmm. We could not. You're preaching now. We could not. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Come on now. Just waking up this morning was more than we could ever pay for. Mm -hmm. More than we can ever pay for. Say so. it, Sister Leslie. <laughs> Just, just mm. give. He, and, and God loves a cheerful giver. Yes, he doesn't like it when you give begrudgingly. He likes it when you give cheerfully. Because when folks give, when he gives the blessings out to us, he gives them cheerfully. Yes, he yes. wants us to have them. Right. So I'm just saying to all of you, just be a cheerful giver. Mm, mm, just share mm. your gifts and when you share your gifts God shares with you Amen. he shares with the people that you love mm. Mm. he shares with your community there's mm. so many ways he shares his love with us and he's only asking us for a little bit so there are many ways to give to the remnant worship family so we thank you in advance yes. for your giving, for your thinking about us. And in turn, we like to shower people with blessings from what we have. So thank you in advance. And now we're going to have our announcements. You can call us and text us and contact us at, you can call and text us at 646-287-8972. That's the Remnant Family Worship Center. You can email us at the Remnant Family, the Remnant FWC at gmail.com. You can, the Remnant Family Worship Center we have prayer every day, Monday through Friday at 7.30. Please join us. Bring a friend. Tell a friend. And we have uh, at 7, that, that's at 7.30 every weekday, Monday through Friday. So please join us. It's a great way to start your day. It's a great way for us to start our day. So join us. And then I see we have the initial sermon by Sister Brenda Cyrus. Uh, that's coming up on June 2nd, 2023. And I can't see, and that is at this same channel, at this, um, at 7 p.m. on June 2nd, 2023 at 7 p.m. And that's right here on this Zoom space. So join us. And then we have a reminder, everything that breathes, breathes by air and cannot live without air. Similarly, all reasonable, free creatures live by the Holy Spirit as through 
by the air as through the air and cannot live without him. Every soul is quickened by the Holy Spirit. Recognize that the Holy Spirit stands in the same relation to your soul as air stands in relation to your body. So you know what that means, don't you? That means we need Jesus. That's what it means. That, that's exactly what it means. We need Jesus to breathe on us. Mm. That's exactly what it means. So in your prayers, in the morning, or in the noonday, or at night, ask Jesus to please breathe on you. Mm. To breathe on you. And if Jesus is breathing on you, you good. Amen. You good. Amen. And now we will have a musical. Oh, we'll have our pastoral remarks and then a musical selection. Pastor Calvin. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Multiply to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is another day journey, and we are so glad about that God has so fit to a golden moments to roll on just a little while longer. Amen. Therefore, we have an attitude of gratitude that we ought to tell the Lord thank you. Happy Pentecost Sunday, each and every one of you, to those who are tuning in on Facebook, YouTube, or in our virtual sanctuary. We come to celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit when it fell on the people of God. Amen. We come to celebrate the birth of the church. This is what we come to do. We thank God for the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost that keeps us, the Holy Ghost that preserves us, the Holy Ghost that watches over us. So we are thankful that God did not leave us comfortless, but he sent us the Holy Ghost. Amen. As it was said before, happy Memorial Day. Everyone, sorry for the feedback. I'm trying to get my Bluetooth to come on. But happy Memorial Day to everyone. Amen. On Tuesday night, there will be no Bible talk. There will be no Bible study on Tuesday night. Amen. The All the Joy Alliance, which we are a part of, is having a fellowship service in their virtual sanctuary on Tuesday night. So please, man, please, sir, if you are free and available, come and worship with us. Apostle Juanetta Tave, all the way from Texas. Amen. An anointed woman of God will be preaching. Amen. We're going to have a high time in the Lord. So Tuesday night, instead of joining us for Bible Talk, join us, uh, the All the Joy Ministries Alliance, for a fellowship service as we come uh, uh, to hear the word of God from the mighty woman of God be poured into. We pour out so much, but every passage is the past, every passage is a covering. And we submit to Apostle Wiley, and she has been such a blessing to the Remnant family and to me personally. So we're going to go into fellowship service on Tuesday. The information is listed. If you need to link, send us a message, and I'll be sure to send it back to you. Amen, amen, and amen. There is a word for the Lord on this morning. The Lord has been dealing with us, the revolving around Pentecost. Amen. And that traditional Pentecost message of uh, me and Doc Walson was talking yesterday. He asked me the title. He looked at me like I was crazy. But there is a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. So after we hear our sermonic selection, I will come back with thus says the Lord. Keep your Bibles ready. Turn to the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 37. Ezekiel, chapter number 37. Who's to say is, thank you, Lord. I may not drive the Maybach, but thank you for the Honda and what you've done. Come on here, Toyota Camry for me, yeah. There are still folks without homes, people living out in the street, and the 
drug habit some say we just cannot be gay there are still muggers and robbers check your purse no place seems to be safe but God is our protection yes every step of the way you ought to turn to your neighbor and tell him I gotta tell him thank you Lord for all you've done for me oh come on be humble with it and say it could have been me living outdoors oh, with no Just another number with a tragic end, but God would not see fit to let none of these things be. But every day by his power, he keeps on keeping you and me. Somebody gotta wave your hand and say, Thank you, Lord. get on your mind your job your children you didn't have to stay in the hospital and just begin to clap your hands and say thank you Lord you did that thing for me 2019 has been amazing you never let me down I came close to losing it but you helped me to sustain my peace my joy you gave me more than enough somebody ought to be grateful in this room tonight because it could have been you tragic end but God will not see fit to let not one of those things be but think about it every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday Saturday and Sunday he keeps on keeping you and me somebody ought to get happy and say thank you Lord you didn't have to do it but you did thank you Lord you didn't have to wake me up but you did thank you Lord Keep me in my right mind, but you did. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. I need my choir to get up on your feet. It could have been me. Thank you. Come on, choir. Thank you. Ezekiel, chapter number 37. The hands of the Lord was upon me. And he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of dry bones. And he led uh, me around, led me around among them, and behold, they were very dry 
many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, you know. And he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live and I will lay sins upon you and you will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord God. So I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a sound and behold a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone. That's yeah. The word of God. Yes. So we can go and be unto God. I want to use for a thought for these next few moments to have your attention. I'm not drunk. I'm just a bit God. When we praise, we talk about God. When we pray, we talk to God. But when we preach, this is how God speaks to us. It's preaching time. Amen. That I serve us, Lord, by the power of grace divine. That our soul look up with a steadfast hope, and I will be lost in thine. God, in simple prayer, we ask on this morning that you do it again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We must understand, and as we realize who we are, that we're living in a time where things are a little bit different. Uh -huh. There is sometimes that uh, we find ourselves being invited to some places and invited to some events. And when we receive the invitation to the party or, or to the reception, or to the event, we see on the, on the invitation that it says this is a dry event. The this meaning of a dry event means that there will be no alcohol served. If truth be told, most of us don't like going to dry events. <laughs> we can talk about that on this morning. Uh, 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 science lets us know that alcohol can cause high blood pressure, uh, mm -hmm. heart disease, stroke, liver disease, and digestive problems. Alcohol can cause cancer of the breast, the mouth, the throat, the esophagus, the voice box, the liver, the colon, and the rectum. Alcohol can cause weakening of the immune system that increases the chance of getting sick. Alcohol causes learning and memory problems, including dementia and poor school performance. This is why it is very important that we keep alcohol away from children. Alcohol calls you to sometimes be something or someone you're really not. Uh -huh. There's a saying that drunk men tell no tales, that, that when you find someone that has been drinking and is a little intoxicated and a little inebriated, they begin to do things and, and say things that they not usually would do. Uh, the alcohol will give them some courage to walk up to their crush and let them know how they really feel. Alcohol will allow them to cuss out that no good supervisor they really don't like, but they would not have usually done this, but because the alcohol alters their mental state, they begin to do things that they don't usually do. Uh -huh. Don't act like uh, your best friend never took your phone and kept you <coughs> Uh -huh. Don't 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 say nothing. Don't tell on yourself. We know we know that we haven't been saved all our life, but sometimes it takes someone else to help us because a drunk text will get you in trouble. Mm. Alcohol change how you act. Alcohol change who you are. It changes the state in your mental capacity. Alcohol is not that good of a thing. Mm -hmm. Our text opened up today and tells us that. Uh, if you heard this story from anybody, that they will consider this man named Ezekiel to have been drinking. Mm -hmm. That Ezekiel is in a valley of dry bones and having a conversation but he's with someone, but yet he is the only one there. The Bible goes on to tell us that he's in a valley of dry bones, yet he is now talking to some bones. And mm -hmm. that 
that, something that cannot talk back to him, something that cannot uh, 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 respond, something that has no life. Ezekiel is sitting in the midst of dust and bones talking to himself. Mm -hmm. We all found ourselves in dry places in our life. For some of us, it was a dry marriage. For some of us, it was a, a dry, dead career. So for some of us, it was uh, 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 maybe... We, 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 we went away from God's plan and ideas that God has given us for our life, but we look and we can see it, but it doesn't seem to be put together. We have our life in shamble and pieces are everywhere. We have to understand that we have to uh, do something to get our life back together. We have something we have to do that we can put things back together. As we exegete this pericope, we see that there is a prophet by the name of Isaiah, Ezekiel, excuse me, talking to the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Lord took him into a vision and we see that they're now in the valley of dry bones. Uh, uh, these bones are not just dry, but the Bible calls them very dry, which indicates that they have been dead for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. There are some things in our lives that we have allowed to die that God is telling us that we must uh, prophesy life back into. Uh huh. God has asked us in our own life, if you listen closely, that can these dry bones live? Uh, uh, I don't know who this is for. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you have to speak over your own self and decree by the power that God has given you that you will have life and have it more abundantly. Uh -huh. Don't cry over it one more night, but speak to it because it shall live and not die. Can I pause here yeah. for the first time in the Sunday school lesson? You that people have already planned your funeral. They have already are uh, thinking that you're not going to make it. They're thinking you are going to end up like them dry bones because your life is in shambles. Your marriage is broken up. You lost your career. You can't find a job. You can't find a victim. You're going through hell and high water. You got all kind of mess going on around in your life, but I come to serve notice today that you can prophesy and say, can these dry bones live? And you can speak life to your dead situation and when you speak to it because of the authority and the power you have inside of you, things must change. Amen. The enemy comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. And let me serve notice. Mm -mm. Job and doing it well. But the Bible says, Can these dry bones live? I double dog day, take your right hand, place it on your face, I shall live and not die. Then everything connected to me shall live and not die. I shall have what I decree. You need to prophesy health and wealth over your life. I dare someone to open up your mouth. And On mute to speak over the thing that you're going through. We need to speak over ourselves, speak over our bloodline, break every generational curse that that that's a sign to the. Yeah. Us as a sign to kill us, but love the power in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We are beautifying the church building instead of beautifying and working on the temple of God. Amen. We are so focused on doing everything in our power to make the building look good, but we are letting the souls decay the question we have to ask is can these dry bones live they say our youth are dried up they're not worth anything but going to jail 
Didn't dry bones live. They say our young ladies are nothing worse but giving up their body and being sold in sex trade and making babies and being on welfare. They say our, our young men were not being be thugs and in gangs on the corners selling and smoking weed. Can these dry bones live? They say African Americans are worth nothing and they, they only get the jobs that we don't want them beneath us. We, we are powerless small men. My question today is. And the dry bones live, yes, because I am a royal priesthood, yes, because I am the head and not the tail. I am the lender, not the borrower. I am uh, uh, more than enough. I am more than a conqueror, and I come last and no good things. Yes, the dry bones can live. I come to serve notice to Satan today that I shall live and not die. Jesus is Lord over my life, and Christ is uh, for me and Christ be for me. Who can be against me? I shall live the Bible, said the Lord's action. Can these dry bones live? And Ezekiel asked him to say, Lord, you know the Lord uh, tells him to speak, prophesy to these bones. Uh, if Ezekiel had any doubt, he will, he will put them away and people will think he's crazy. But he did what God commanded the human Perception of uh, 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 this proclamation of the word of God was foolish. People would think he was crazy. They would thought he was drunk. If he would have told anyone the story, they would laugh at him and, and thought he was high on his own supply. Mm -hmm. But Ezekiel obeyed in the Bible that said that the bones began to come together, bone to bone. Ezekiel prophesied, and this was a noise. There was a sound. The Bible says the yes. bones begin to rattle as he continued. The bones begin to assemble themselves into a skeleton. The text does not specifically say that it was a, but it can be assumed that the bones assemble themselves properly. Yes. Yeah. And skeleton and, and not in a weird combination of bones, but when God restored you, he put you back together the right way. There was a noise, there was a sound, there was a rattling. There it was some movement, and this sound that happened is there is a sound that happened when we are being revived. Anybody in the medical field are actually you on here? You you you've been in nursing school, you know that when you take a defibrillator and you begin to shock, there is a movement, there is sound. Something has to happen when you are being revived. You can't keep quiet. You can't keep still. It makes uh, I me mean, nervous. Anytime you go into church, you see folk all quiet. Look at your highest ditty. Why? Because when God moved, there is some noise. The Bible says there was a sound as if a Russian mighty wind. There is a sound when God begins to move. There is a sound. There is movement. There is action taking place. You have to understand that when the bones are coming together, there is a sound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After the bones were assembled, the muscle and the tissue came on the bones, and the bones were full of activity. The bone marrow was flowing, yet it did not have the breath of life in them. The revival was still happening, and it happened in stages. There was a stirring of the bones. There was an assembly of the bones. There was flesh put on the bones. There was skin and tissue covering the bones. And it was awaiting the, the breath of God. God. Verse 9 said that he said unto me, prophesy to the wind and prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain bones. And Ezekiel yeah. had already proclaimed the word of the Lord to the dead dry bones and, and seen the remarkable work that has done. So he, uh, he was saying that same thing. He began to prophesy to the bones and the skeletal structure and prophesy to the winds. And he commanded the winds to come and the spirit came and, and it fell on the dry bones and the dry bones became alive. Uh, you have to understand that God promised that he will bring restoration to Israel and it is rest a restoration so wide and so deep and that any fair examination of Israel history must confess that uh, it that it has not yet happened, this means that it is yet to be fulfilled. Some things in your life may be in shambles, but God said it has yet to be fulfilled. We have to understand there are some things as the men and women of God that we must do. We must be God's servants, and the servants must know that the bones are dead and dry. We must know, they know that we have to walk around some dead things. We must 
proclaim the word of God, that if God said speak, speak it, God, um, servant must uh, have almost foolish confidence in the word of God. We may look crazy doing it, but we must obey the word of God. God's servant understand that the spirit works in it's a process that it don't just happen all at once, but sometimes there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. God's servant must recognize that the work of the Holy Spirit is essential. God's servant must boldly pray to the, for the Spirit to move. God's servant must be the power of faith. God's servant must notice every evidence of the Spirit work. God's servant must look for God's people to be revived into an army of service. Amen. Amen. Bible says that when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there was a sound as a Russian mighty wind Mm -hmm. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. There was a sound as if a Russian mighty wind. They, they heard something, and after they heard it, then they felt it. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to see it. You have to you have to hear it before you can see it. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every blessing that comes from God, you're not going to see it. Sometimes you have to hear it and, and know it's coming and wait in anticipation for it to arrive. And then when it comes, some folk won't understand what you're going through. The Bible says that people thought that they were drunk because they began to move and they didn't understand the movement. They began to speak and didn't understand what they uttering. They were uttering. You have to understand that people will not always understand what God is doing. You may look strange and they may think that you're drunk. But I come to serve notice on today that I'm not drunk. I'm not crazy. I'm just yeah. simply believing God. They were speaking right. in unknown right. tongues. They were acting strange. They were called strange because they didn't understand what was happening. But Peter rose up and said, listen, man, it's only the third hour of the day. We're not even drunk yet. I'm sure they told him it's right. 5 o'clock somewhere. But Peter said, no, you have to understand what's going on. Acts chapter 2, verse 17, said like this. And it shall come to pass in the last day that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servant and on my handmaid I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy. What yeah. does that mean? That you have the ability to prophesy over your life. You have the ability to speak those things that are not who they are. I've double dog dare you to prophesy into your life and say that I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and I believe you can prophesy yeah. finances. You can prophesy yeah. your house, your, your car. You can prophesy things. Why? Because you it's have so. the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. All right, yes. the Holy God. Yes, yes. You can preach. Uh, I've been preaching over my life every single day. It's interesting that on the first of the month, I really don't have that much money, and on the thirty-first, on the thirtieth of the month, I really don't have that much money. But yet, my car dope, my car insurance. My gas tank is never on empty. My rent, my light, my gas, my telephone, my everything stays on. I'm blessed to have three, four different lives. I got an iPad, an I, uh, Apple Watch, uh, uh, two cell phones. It stays on. I don't really know how it happens. My bills are more than my check, but but guess what, beloved? I decree that I would never be broken on the day of my life. I have the ability to get in my car, drive where I want to drive. I have the ability to go sit at whatever restaurant I decide I want to eat at. I have the ability to do things. It's not because I make so much money. I work in the city of New York. We don't make that much. We still fight for a contract now. But the Bible says I've never seen the righteous forsaken. You can see begging bread. You have to understand that you have to praise God in the midst of everything you're going through. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. People look at me crazy All right. when I said I wanted to go get a car, I had no money. They thought I was drunk to go to the dealership looking for a car. But whenever I wasn't crazy, I was just believing God. 
All right, people think I'm drinking on the job because I, I sometimes I begin to shake and mumble something they don't understand. Mm. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all mm. he's done for me, Come my on. soul cries out. I don't care if I'm in my house. I don't care if I'm in the church house. I don't care if I'm in the schoolhouse. I will bless the Lord at all times. And the praise shall continually be in my mouth. You may look at me crazy, but I'm just thanking God for what he's doing for me. You don't know the hell I've been through to get to 36 years old. You don't know the hell I've been through to get where I am today. You don't understand what I had to go through. You don't know what I had to fight and the sleep of the sight tears running down my face. You don't understand. So now that I have the ability, now that I have the right, now that I have the holy boldness to praise the Lord, I will bless the Lord. You may think I'm drunk because I sit quiet. All of a sudden, I get excited. You have to understand that, that you are anointed for this. You are, you are anointed for this. You're anointed for this. You're anointed for this. Uh, they may think that you're drunk and, 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 and they may think that it's the Hennessy. They may, they may think it's the, the, the Pauly. They may think it's the Patron. And they, may, they may think it's the goose that gets you loose. They may think it's, 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 it's the Red Bull. They, they, they may think, they can think it, it, it's the Ciroc. They, they may think it's, 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 it's Johnny Walker Red or Black. They, they may think that's what it is. But, but beloved, all you have to do is begin to sit down. And when yes, I begin to yes, sit down yes. and think of the goodness of Jesus oh, and, yes. and, and, and how far he brought me, Casamigo yes. couldn't do it for me. Uh, yes, yeah, he yes. couldn't do it. I, I've tried it, but but after what's again a headache, and I've still yeah. had the same issues. I I realized that 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 do say lemonade couldn't do it for me because I I found out that afterwards, and when when I get settled down, I still have the same issue. But when I tried Jesus, <laughs> I found out that no matter what I'm going through, He that no matter. What I, I I have to face that he is the answer. <laughs> I found out that if I give it to Jesus, he can yes, handle sir. it, and there is no hangover. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. Yes. When I think yes. Of the goodness of Jesus and all mm -hmm. that he's done for me. My soul cries out. Cries out. out. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God. Yeah. For saving me. I'm done now, y'all. I'm reminded of a story. Of husband and wife living in a beautiful brownstone in the Bedford Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn. <laughs> One Friday morning, the doorbell rang, and it was the husband at the door. A gentleman stood at the door and said, Hello, I'm Mr. Powell, the loan officer from Chase Bank. I came by to inform you that this property is now in foreclosure. The bank owns this property, and you have 72 hours to pay $30,000. <laughs> we will auction this house off at City Hall at 12 noon on Monday. The husband got sad and said, we'll see what we can do. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't have $30,000. Powell said, well, I guess you should start packing. Hmm. The husband went back into the house, told his wife, said, baby, that was Mr. Powell from the bank. And uh, he said that the house is in foreclosure, that the bank now owns the house. And, we have 72 hours to pay $30,000 or so we will lose the house. <laughs> the wife sat up in the bed and said, "Hun, that's not my problem. Mm. So she went on about her day. Uh, she got in the bed. She began to pray to the Lord. The Lord answered her prayer and said, uh, 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 go get the deed for your house. Mm. Uh, she woke up Sunday morning and and she she tells her husband, the Lord said, to go get the deed for the house. The husband said, how? We don't have no money. The wife said, that's not my problem. <laughs> she decided to go get her hair and nails done. Her husband said, baby, uh, we have 48 mm -hmm. hours to pay uh, $30,000 for this house. We don't have money, but you're going to get your hair and nails done. The woman got dressed, put on her good leggings, a t-shirt, and, and went out the door. She said, baby, that's not my problem. Mm -hmm. She got up Sunday morning to go to church. She put on her good Sunday's best, had a hat cocked to the side. Her husband said, I don't <laughs> feel 
like going to church today. I, I, I'm depressed. I got to figure out what we're going to do. The wife says, that's not my problem. And she goes to the church and decides to tell the pastor what was going on. The pastor took up a special offer. But you know how church folk are. They yeah. all came and said, I wish I could. And if I had it, I would. And the mm -hmm. collection was only $150. Oh my she goodness. goes home and tells her husband what happened. And he says, that's not enough money. The wife looks at him and says, him straight in the face and says, that's not my problem. Monday morning comes. The wife wakes up, put on her good makeup, y'all. She she got dressed in her good business suit. And she was dressed in her good high heel shoes. She looked very professional. She said, husband said, baby, where are you going? We got to pack me. Uh, 12 noon, we're going to lose the house. Uh, she said, I'm going to get my house. The husband looked at her <laughs> and said, baby, her Baby girl, what's wrong with you? We don't have no money. You must be crazy to think that you're going to take $150 and get your house back. The woman looked at him and said, boo, that's not my problem. And mm -hmm. she begins to leave the house. She gets in her car and drives downtown to the courthouse. And she gets to about Atlantic Avenue and across and she sees the skies begin to turn black as she drives a little further and she now gets to Flatbush Extension. She sees the winds begin to blow and oh, shaking and rocking the car. <laughs> she arrives to J Street and the clouds are now overtaken and the sky is black and the winds are blowing. She gets to the courthouse, finds a good parking space, gets out the car to realize no one is there. <laughs> she sees Powell standing at the courthouse and, 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 and the judge walks out. Mr. Powell says, Your Honor, uh, uh, no one is here because there's a storm coming. Can we postpone the auction? Uh -huh. The judge says, uh, all I see are some clouds. I, I feel some winds. And the judge says, we will not postpone this auction. Uh -huh. But he called the auction to order and asked for the open bid. See, the rules of auction is that the owner can of the property cannot bid on their own property. So mm -hmm. the wife said, I was said I would start the auction off for $150. The judge <laughs> said, will there be anybody here for $200? <laughs> no one said nothing. It was just uh, and the owner, Mr. Uh, Powell there, the judge said, $150 going once. Uh, $150 going twice. And $150 oh, going Three souls to the woman in the black yes, suit. Sir. And, yes, sir. Uh, the woman gets mm -hmm. the deep from the house and she gets back in her car and drive home on her way to down Atlantic Avenue. The sun begins to shine, and on her way down Atlantic Avenue, the uh, 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 the winds cease from blowing, and she goes and pulls into her driveway. Y'all, uh, she gets out, walks into the house, and hands the, her husband the deed to the house. He asked, baby, how did you do this? I told we didn't have any money. She said, I told you, it was it's not my problem. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about anything. But his, mm -hmm. The wife said, Pop, it wasn't my problem because mm -hmm. I read in my Bible that I've never seen the righteous I forsaken, see. nor see begging bread. It may yes, seem sir. crazy yes, to you, but when you have crazy faith, God do crazy miracles. Yes, when sir. you have yes, crazy sir. faith, you can go with no money to put down, but drive out with what you want to ride in. When That's you right. have crazy right. faith, yes, you can go to the doctor often when the doctors give you a terminal illness. You can prophesy Amen. to it and say, it will not kill me, but I shall live and not die. Is there anybody in this virtual century on Facebook today can attest to the fact that I'm not crazy, but I yes. just believe God. Yes. If yes. God yes. gives yes. me the word, let's do it. I don't care how it looks. I don't care what it seems like. I know we were in a pandemic. I know we haven't yes. been in a physical brick and mortar church in about two, three years. I'm not crazy, but I just believe in God. Yes. Believe in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I, I may shake sometimes. I know I may get loud sometimes. I, I know I don't act all high and sedity. I know I sweat up my blackout. I, I, I know, I, I know I look strange. <laughs> But Lord, I come to tell you, I got the Holy Ghost on Jesus. the inside of me. And Amen. when the Holy Ghost begins to move, 
it's an elimination of class distinction. It doesn't matter if I have, if you are a high school dropout or a college graduate. When the Holy Ghost begin to move, it doesn't matter yeah. if you got six figures in your account or you got six <laughs> in your account. Ooh. It doesn't matter when the Holy Ghost begin to move and God yeah, begin man. to work. It doesn't matter how yeah, rich or poor you are. Oh, mm -hmm. is that you're crazy enough to obey the word of God. Right, and if you right. obey the word of God, God will open up the windows yes, of heaven yes, and pour yes, you out yes, a blessing. Yes. You have mm -hmm. not room enough to receive. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I dare you to prophesy over your own self. Prophesy yes, over your life that yes, you sir. are the head and not the tail. You are yes, above yes. and not believe you are more Please. than a conqueror that you will make it that you will not lose because you can't use with the stuff I use. You want uh -huh. to know what I use? I oh, use the that's above every name, because at the name please, of Jesus, please, please. every knee shall bow, every tongue shall yes. confess at that name, Jesus, demons has to flee. The Bible yes. lets us yes. know that demons tremble at that name. Is there anybody here Hallelujah. on the Pentecost Sunday who's been filled with the Holy Ghost that knows hey. that name has oh. power for it reaches yes. to the highest mountain and flow yes. to the lowest valley? Yes. It's the blood that gives me strength that yes. you have a name that you can Hallelujah. call on, and that name brings about change. That's all I have for you on Jesus, today. Jesus. Out of time, certainly not a word. We got to go over your own time on today. Yeah. Just know that no matter what you're going through, that you're not crazy. Yes. You may look crazy. They may yes. talk about scandalize your name. They're going to do everything. They call. They're going to call you crazy. Yes. But tell them, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I believe in God. I'm not drunk. Yes. I, yes. I, I, Hennessy can't do this. This is not Hennessy. I promise you it's not. But I, it's the goodness of Jesus. The yes, yes. Of God that's on Holy my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They may be sword heads today. They want to get to know God. this Jesus, Jesus. I'm preaching about. You want to get to know how to get this feeling that's better than any weed you can smoke. To get this feeling that's better than any alcohol you can drink. Yes. As simple as ABC yes. admit. That you have sinned, that you are in sin and need of saving, be believed yes. in Jesus Christ and see, confess your sins and confess that Jesus is Lord. If you do these simple ABCs, the Bible says that you shall be saved. Yes. And do me a favor, yes. pray with me if you will. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Yeah. And I'm asking for your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. I turn for my sinful ways yeah. and I turn for my sinful lifestyle and I invite you to come into my life and come into my heart. I confess mm. you as my Lord and Savior and I will follow you as my Christ and King. In mm. Jesus' name, I pray, amen, if you have done your ABCs and if you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart and you prayed this prayer with us according to the Bible, the Bible says you shall be saved. We don't believe in uh, the Bible says that when the Holy Ghost came upon them and uh, 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 and it was decreed to declare he will spoil his flesh on all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. The young men shall dream dreams and after all of this and verse 21 said and it came to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2 uh, 21 lets us know calling on that name allows us to give us access to be saved. If you mm -hmm. call on that name, if you have tried it and you want to partner with us, you want to join us and be a member of the Remnant Family Worship Center, mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. want prayer, we, we will touch and agree with you in the spirit on whatever you're going through. We will prophesy with you and stand in agreement of your prophecy. Do us a favor, reach out to us. You can text us. You can call us at 646-287-8972. You can even email us, the remnantfwc at gmail.com and we will pray with you. We will help you in whatever way we can. If we don't have it, if we can't figure it out, we will find someone yeah. to help you. The most important thing, we yes. are here for you. We are here to be with you and we are here to let the glory of God shine yeah, yeah, so yeah. bright through does make you see and be compelled to Christ. It is our motto here at the Remnant Family Worship Center that you are blessed, that you are encouraged, and that you are expecting greater because God has greater in store for you. And now unto him who calls the sun to rule by day, the moon to rule by night. 
To only wise God, our Savior, your glory, best dominion, power, both now and forevermore. And we all said, Amen. 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 Wonderful message, y'all. Wonderful yes. message. Yes. Wonderful. yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. It's not my problem. That's right. No. <laughs> Crazy yeah. face. Crazy face. Crazy yeah. face. Uh, yes. <laughs> not my yes. problem. Yes. I definitely have to say that more often. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs>